the Scots may have fell at the last 16, but we're going to find out next what the Sheep Shaggers can do. Welcome back, guys, to another Euro 2020 campaign. This time, we're going to be playing as Wales. So, yeah, I did a Scottish one. We got out the group stage undefeated. Things were looking pretty good. Pretty easy draw against Slovakia in the last 16, but unfortunately, due to game mechanics, I got shafted. Own goal. Should never have happened. Keeper didn't bother making the save. And we found ourselves eliminated. So we're going to try again. We're going to go with Wales. We're going to see how we got on with the Welsh. And then who knows, maybe if I die and someone, you know, hacks my laptop and hacks my, my, my Xbox, then maybe, just maybe after that, we'll, we'll do an England playthrough. But that is probably not going to happen. So you can see Wales group. We're in Group A with Turkey, Italy, Switzerland. As always, the goal has to be get out of the group, especially now that even three of the four of the third best place runner-up spots go through as well so absolutely have to make out the group getting out of the group qualification from the group is the bare minimum and then we'll try and get into the last 16 and then we will take it from there but here we go UEFA presents the Euro 2020 uh, campaign there's a bunch of goals going in here looks like that was Lewandowski we've got some guy doing a, a massive overhead kick there we've got Fernando Torres scoring a goal we've got the Italians celebrating there's Edar for Portugal cheering on. But who's going to be cheering come the end of this tournament? Is it going to be Wales? Is it going to be Gareth Bale? Is it going to be Aaron Ramsey and co? We're about to find out. Here's the squad that Wales have. I think it's fair to say that mo most of our best players are wide players. Obviously, you've got Gareth Bale. Everyone knows him. But then you've also got Daniel James. You've got Harry Wilson. You've got Daniel Brooks. A lot of players that um, could go out wide. And we don't really have anybody... Up front, as of note, there is Sam Folks who's 69 overall. You've got Keith Moore, who is 73 overall. I mean, it's not great. I kind of am tempted to put Bale up front. Then that means we could put maybe Wilson or Brooks into the first 11. But for now, I think we'll stick with Bale out wide. We'll give this Moore guy a chance, right? I, I don't have much hope, but we'll give him a chance. We're going to be playing 5 2 3. I want it to be hard to break down. So at the back, we're going to have Ben Davis on the left. We're going to have Williams. On the right, and there's going to be Mepam, Rod, Rodon, and Ahmed, Am, <laughs> Ampadu, Ampadu. I guess that's how he's called. Fucking Ampadu. Uh, that, that's going to be the team then, probably going forward. And then, yeah, we'll see how we got on. Got Wayne Hennessy in there. This guy's been around a long time. Solid hands. Hopefully, he can have a solid tournament. Right, so here we go then, match day one, we're taking on Switzerland, crucial that we get off to a good start here, we have Turkey in match day two, followed by the Italians on the last match day, ideally we would like to have secured at least third place by the time we get to Italy, but uh, there's only one way to do that and that's pick up positive results against Switzerland and Turkey, so let's go and do it. Go the Swiss boys then, singing the national anthem, singing it proud, hopefully uh Hopefully they'll not be doing much singing after the 90 minutes. Hopefully they'll be crying instead. Or will it be Welsh tears that we'll see at the end of the 90 minutes? We'll find out. There's a the captain there. Arsenal man, Granite Shaka. Hopefully he has one of his shape performances tonight. Not one of his better ones. Uh, there's Ricardo Rodriguez. But yeah, Swiss players up for this. Pretty solid team, like on paper. I definitely would say, yeah, we might have the superstars. We might have Bale. We might have Ramsey, but I would definitely say Switzerland all round, you know, overall have the better team. And there is their lineup then. So we've got Mofogo in Nets, uh, Rodriguez, Elferi, Scar, Akiani. How the fuck are you supposed to read that? Come on. How quick was that there? I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, we're going to see the Welsh team. We are. We've got uh, Hennessy, Rondon, Mepam, Ampudu, Ben Davis, Williams, Alan Ramsey, Wilson, Moore, and Gareth Bale. The big man, Gareth Bale. Here we go, lads. 90 minutes ahead. An important 90 minutes. We need to get something out of this. So it's away we go then. Who do you think this turns off, Jim? It has to be Aaron Ramsey. Uh, we shouldn't forget the dreadful leg break he suffered, but he's rebuilt his career to a very high level again. And besides all his midfield quality, he's become a scorer. Ben Davis up to Moore. Forward. And here's Saferovic. 
Ben Davis trying to find Wilson. Oh, can't keep that in. Oh, Bale. That is brilliant for Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale finds Moore. Moore lays it off to Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ramsey strikes it. He can't keep it low. But first chance falls to Wales. And it was actually a good chance. We just didn't really make the most of it there. Bale finds a Moore. Moore. First time pass into Ramsey and Ramsey. He just couldn't keep it low. Oh, great save for Hennessy. We're in a bit of trouble there, put ourselves right into it, but Hennessy pulls us right out of it. Uh, solid save there, I'm just giving the ball away. And uh, you see Mbolo there, nice wee heel flick. And it's a great save. And it was going in as well, it was sneaking in, so Hennessy had to make that. Oh, and it's just wide again. This time it's number 18, he just couldn't direct his shot on target. Short free kick there. Uh, short corner even, Mbolo. Went into the number 18, not too sure who it is. But again, he just couldn't direct it on goal. And we lived to fight an all day. Rodon, come on, Rodon. Close him down. My palm heads away. Ramsey out to it first. He wins it and it falls to Bale. And now the counter could be on. Bale got to try and find Wilson. Awful from Big Gareth Bale, man. Granit Xhaka. Plays it into Shepkrov, who gets a bit of space and he scores on the brink of half time. We've played two minutes of ex, uh, yeah, two minutes of added on time here, injury time. Only supposed to be one, and Switzerland scores. So I don't know why that was allowed to happen. Uh, Granit Xhaka there you know, just plays it to him on the edge of the box. Just no one closed him down. Hennessy ain't going to save that. Switzerland take the lead here. They lead one 0 and uh, we find ourselves in a bit of trouble here because we haven't been great. But when we, at least we were level. You know, we had the clean sheet. We were holding on to a point. Now we're not. Now we need to chase the game. And we need something better in the second half. I mean, you look at the stats. And, and Switzerland definitely deserved their lead. They've dominated possession. Had a lot more chances than we have. Passing's been great. Uh, we've been poor. We have been really, really poor. And we just we need to find something else, guys. We need to do something different in the second half. Oh no, it's through to Mbolo, it's my palm against Mbolo. Mbolo takes a shot for distance, I don't know why he'd done that. Surely there was something better on than what he that did there, but I don't think I get it. Ben Davis, fuck it, can't speak the words here, but we've got a chance anyway. Davis still going. It's Wilson. Back to Allen. Williams then, he's got Bale out wide. Trying to think Gareth Bale through and pass intercepted. Williams wins it back though. Ramsey to Allen. Looks for Moore. Moore's free kick. Moore wins a free kick. Edge of the box. Switzerland players complain. I mean, it looks like Joe Allen wants a, a card here on Sicaria. I don't think he's going to get one. Referee says no more. I mean, was there much in it? Sicaria against Keith Moore. Yeah, he just come on. He just comes and boots him in the back of the leg there. Fucking violence here. Two years in jail. But um, let's see here. Who's going to take this? I mean, obviously, it's probably going to be Bale. We've got Bale standing over it. You've also got Harry Wilson who can hit a good free kick. But I think this one is going to be Gareth Bale. And Gareth Bale's going to try and gets back on. Oh, and we just boot it. I think it's Shaka in the face. Ben Davis goes for the fall. He doesn't get it. And the chance is over. Williams. To Bale. This is a good bit of play here. Bale whips one in. Oh! And oh my God, I don't believe it. I think it was Ramsey there. At the near post. It's 
Sticks a leg out, should have scored. Great save though for the goalkeeper. And we still find ourselves trailing by one goal to nil. Williams, come on. Trying to up the ante here. Williams back to Bale. Bale in towards Allen. Allen finds Ramsey. Ramsey out to Ben Davis. It's Harry Wilson. Ah, Keith Moore. Here we go. Change has been made. Daniel James and Brooks coming on. Um, we're going to go with two up front here. We're going to stick Bale up top with Harry Wilson in behind him as we try and get this equaliser. Oh, and Mbolo forces a very good save off Hennessy. It's been kept in. Rodon gives the corner, but Switzerland here will have a chance to try and double their lead. I mean, good save. Mbolo's first touch just took it away. I mean, in the end, maybe it's not that great a save, but here he had to get both. I had to get his body behind it and use both hands to make the save. So, you know what? I'll give the keeper a bit of credit there. Why not? Hennessy with another save. Bale. Ah, Bale. Come on, fuck. And this could be it. Skrevorov. Shevrov. And he does. He puts it in the back of the net. 2 0 Switzerland here. And, uh, yeah, that's not going to be good then. Our chances of. Uh, Getting something out of this opening game, not looking great here. We're going to go ahead and bring on Roberts for Joe Allen for the last 10 minutes, but uh, it's going to be difficult to get something out of this. Uh, just at the back, lack of pace there, we were caught. And uh, yeah, finished like that. So, it's only good here for Wales. We'll make this change here, we'll make the sub, but uh, we've got 10 minutes to try and get two goals. Trying to find Williams. It's going to be headed away for a corner. So, I mean, this is a chance. This goes in, you never know. But we have to take advantage of it. And we don't want Bale taking this because we need we need Bale in the box. It's going to be Ben Davis. Ben Davis looking for a good delivery. It's not that great. It wasn't the worst in the world, but Aaron Ramsey had to win that and he didn't. And now this will just eat up a shitload of clock. But he gets it back, so Ramsey did well there to win it back. Roberts, back to Roberts, Wilson, oh, and he, he under hits the pass to Wilson. Here we go, oh, Ramsey though, Aaron Ramsey, Aaron Ramsey's got a strike, oh, off the bar, Jesus, what a goal that would have been, it would have been a fucking wonder goal, had that went in, but the bar denied, Ramsey, out to Roberts, and that's a shite pass, absolute shite pass, and this could do it, we're 2-0 down, we're trailing, and it's Shevarov again through. He's going to be one on one. He's got. Oh, he had Mbolo with him. He didn't choose to use him. And the keeper came out. Hennessy makes a good save. Brooks to Roberts. To Mepram. Trying to find Brooks. And it's the pass. It's just not good enough. And this could be it. That could be it. And it is it, guys. So Wales with uh, two goals for Shevarov. Shev Shevarovic. Lose in the opening game of Euro 2020, and that's going to be hard for us to go to this. Now we've still got Italy to play. We did play better in the second half. There's no doubt about it. But I don't think you can really complain with uh, Switzerland getting the win. They were the better team. I mean, Ramsey late on almost scored a screamer. It wasn't to be, and uh, we will need to be a hell of a lot better in the next game because that, simply put, was not good enough. You can see the other results there, Croatia. Drawn with England, Scotland beating Czech Republic. I fucking wish that had happened in real life. Unfortunately, that wasn't to be. Italy and Turkey drew 1-1. I don't know whether that's good for us or not. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Would we rather Italy just run away with the group or could that potentially be a good thing? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Portugal and France picking up wins in the so-called group of death. Uh, Spain beat Sweden and Slovakia beat Poland by two goals to nil. So that's what it looks like, guys, after a game has been played. And up next, we have Turkey. And in a what is probably a must win. Because if we don't beat Turkey, then we're going to have to beat Italy. And that's that's easier said than done, guys. So looking forward to the next game. Wales versus Turkey. Absolutely massive that um, we get off to a better start than we did against Switzerland. And hopefully we can put three points on the board and uh, get ourselves one step closer to not shagging sheep, but one step closer to the last 16, the knockout round 
of the UEFA Euro 2020 campaign. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we're Scotland, ain't it? Peace.